Good evening, everyone. It's Corey Stewart, Republican candidate for Governor of Virginia. Uh, just a quick uh, campaign update. We're making our way back from the uh, Chesterfield GOP uh, uh, Governor's uh, Candidates uh, Forum. Uh, had a, a good little fundraiser, a big fundraiser, frankly, uh, up in uh, uh, Northern Virginia earlier on today. And then tomorrow morning, I wanted to invite you all that, um, uh, first of all, on Fox 5, we'll be at Fox 5 up in uh, the D.C. Um, uh, affiliate of Fox uh, News will be uh, at my home at the Bel Air Plantation, and uh, they're going to be doing a uh, sit-down interview uh, tomorrow morning. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you, if you get the chance and you're waking up that early, uh, tune on in to uh, Fox 5 uh, tomorrow morning. And then we're headed off to the Princess Anne uh, Republican Governor's uh, Candidates Forum. Uh, that'll be uh, tomorrow uh, afternoon, starting at 11.30. If you get a chance, uh, come on over. Uh, and uh, go on my Facebook page if you want some more information about that. Uh, I'd love to see you there. We're going to be touring some businesses in, um, uh, in, um, in hi, Kristen, I see you commenting. Uh, anyway, we're going to be uh, tour uh, we're going to be touring some businesses here. Uh, sorry, in uh, Virginia Beach as well. Uh, a couple little things um, that are affecting the campaign pretty directly. Uh, this issue on uh, preserving our heritage is coming into the forefront. As, uh, as you might have seen last night, they removed the Confederate uh, a statue in, um, in, uh, in New Orleans last evening. And then tonight, unfortunately, uh, the city of New Orleans is removing a statue of uh, General Beauregard. And they've got two more to go after that. This is spreading, unfortunately. This is what happens to, because of political correctness. We're losing, we are literally losing our history. We're losing all these historic monuments. And it's happening right here in Virginia. I know a lot of people don't think that it's very important. And they think that it's about the Confederate flag. But it's not. It's not. Uh, this is about rampant, uncontrolled political correctness uh, that is shaming people for wanting to celebrate their history and their, their ancestry and their heritage. Uh, and it's about the, the, the left, the far left, being emboldened by political correctness and tearing down these statues. And pretty soon they're all gone. And we've lost a cultural war. Uh, we've got to stand up to this. I know it's hard because political correctness, when you think about it, it's a, it's a club. It's a club that the left has been beating conservative candidates for not just the last couple of years, but for 50 years. And it's time to take away the club, the political correctness club. Take it away from the liberals. It isn't easy. I know. I've been on the forefront of this, taking the brunt of it. But we have to stop and we have to fight. We can't continue to run. As long as we continue to run, we're going to continue to lose our country. And I'm going to stop and I'm going to fight it. And I don't know exactly what the consequences of that are going to be, but I believe that people respect the fighter and I believe that pre people want leadership. So if you get a chance again, tomorrow morning, 7.30, um, uh, you know, it's uh, Charles, I see you there in the comments. Uh, thanks for coming on board. And uh, I appreciate all of your support out there, folks. I really, really do. We've only got six weeks left. Uh, we need as many people knocking on doors, as many people making phone calls. It's going to come out of the ground game. Very, very, very low turnout in a Republican primary election in Virginia. Every vote is literally going to count. And um, it's very important. If, you, if you're not in Virginia and you want to be able to help, um, please, you know, come to my website, CoreyStewart.com. You can contribute. Uh, anybody can contribute as long as you're uh, an American citizen and um, or an American company. So come on board and uh, would really appreciate your support. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great evening. And I uh, just want to let you know I appreciate all of your help, all of your support. And Jose, I see your comment there. Uh, Mark and others. Jimmy, that's right. Jimmy's got the right idea. Come on and contribute. I just want to let you all know that I... I really am truly appreciative, and together we're going to take back Virginia. Thanks a lot, folks.